and I'm muted. All right, so anyways, I'm not muted anymore. What's up, I'm Dennis Kako, Mars creator Max Boost, uh, the comic that was in Fortuner Magazine. 2006, in Fortuner Magazine, and we're back. We come every Monday to hang out, hang out with friends. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, you're joining. If you're new to joining us, we talk about the comic, we talk about tuner cards, we talk about some stuff. We've got a giveaway today with Greddy. And I'm going to show you guys, you guys are going to get the first exclusive look at the giveaway um, uh, that we've got uh, happening uh, this week. So you guys are going to see it before the, uh, the public gets to see it because you're Max Boost fans. So Greddy wanted to do a um, giveaway with me. So you're going to see that item here for the first time ever. And um, hopefully you love it. So um, I'd love to hear what you think, but you're going to be the first to see it, right? All right, so is music too loud? Everything okay? What's up, everybody? I'm going to say hi to everybody that's out there. If you're on, if you're watching right now, please leave a comment. Say what's up. Give us a thumbs up. And if you're new, please uh, click subscribe because we go live every Monday at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. And we don't want to miss you. You want to miss us. So what are we doing today? Um, number one, I'm really busy uh, with a ton of stuff that's going on. We got the new Kickstarter coming. Uh, and um, it's just been hectic. Just came back from a race weekend this weekend. Uh, at the Auto Club Speedway with Chad Richardson uh, and the Mustang. And um, been working hard on the Greddy giveaway. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna show it to you. You're gonna be the first people in the world to see the Greddy giveaway actually complete. They actually have not even seen this themselves. So, it should be pretty cool. Um, and uh, usually what I do is I say hello to everybody that's in the chat. If so, if you say hi on the chat, I'm gonna say hi back. And um, we'll do some other nonsensical things, have some fun. Kick back, relax, and chill with the Max Boost family. So a lot of us have been here on this show every Monday for the past year. And we just continue to do this. We love having fun every Monday, um, chatting it up with everyone. And uh, you're never not quite not sure. We are never quite sure what you get every Monday. So just for fun, I might play a video just to remind you of what happened last week. When... Uh, a certain somebody sent me a package of stuff to eat. So, a certain somebody sent me a package of stuff to eat live online. <clears throat> live on air. So, anyways, I might play that video. Just to remind you guys how horrible, <laughs> how horrible it was. Um, let me see. Let me, uh, let me share the YouTube link with the world uh, before I play that video. Somewhere. Oh, look at me. It's me streaming myself live. I know there's an easy way to share it. I'm going to go share this on Facebook right now. And then we'll get on with the show. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. So this weekend was pretty nuts. How was your weekend? What did you guys do? Anybody do anything uh, noteworthy? I'd love to hear about it. Let's see. I'm about to post up. Let's see. Check out the new Greddy Times Max Boost Collab Steering Wheel. We are giving away. So, I'm just going to post this without tag. Your post is, contains information commonly found in branded content. I don't know. Wait, what am I doing? What is wrong with this? Why can't I post? <laughs> it's asking me if it's branded content. I'm like, sure. All right. I'm just going to post. So, anyways, I don't know. Facebook's doing something weird. Sorry, guys. I just got tuned out a little bit. So I no idea what doing. Um, but it looks like that's that's all good. All right, so let's chat it up. Um, yeah, let me say hi to everybody. Say what's up. Uh, wow, lots of comments already. So, what's up, Hawaiian? Uh, Carl in the house. Jamal Kanlas, what's up? No sound. I know I put it, I put sound back on. Hopefully, everything's okay. Music's okay. What's up, Mr. Bush? 
from Washington State. Uh, we got Mr. Tim Lee from San Francisco. David McMurtry from Vermont. We got Jen. Oh. Zumi. What's up, B? Gregory. What's up? Adam. Hey, man. What up, y'all? It's been a while. Randy. It's been a while, dude. You're only here for a few minutes, but thank you for gracing us with your presence. Yannick from Belgium, representing uh, Europe. Good nugs. What up, man? That's a scary profile picture. But you're welcome here. And I don't think I've seen you before, so welcome to uh, the Max Boost Monday's live stream, man. What's up, Lun Lee? I hate you. Moving on. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, dude. Lun Lee, man. Oh, my God. What up, Dennis? Killer of my lap times. Oh, what up? What up? I, I'm a Akariza 55. Oh, oh, go, go. Um, he was there with us, me and Chad, at this race weekend at Auto Club Speedway. So that was fun. He drives an EG in the TT6 time attack uh, class, time trial class, which I was in. Oh, shoot. Michael Bush's track spec daily driver auto cannon S2000. Natsuki hashtag S2K hashtag went in for paint today. Finally. So if you don't know what we're talking about right now, it's one of our um, auto cannon cars. Uh, it's actually Michael Bush's baby right here in volume two of Max Boost, my comic book, is right there. And it's it's got all the spoon stuff on it and it just needed to be painted. So the body's getting painted right now, apparently. Good job, Mike. Woohoo! That's been a long process. Everybody knows project cars take forever, but Mike's been waiting a long time to get this thing painted. And it got hit by a Prius, which extra sucked. But this thing, we may be time trialing this soon if things go right, right, Mike? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but this should be cool. And um, yeah, right on. Mike S, what's up, Mr. Servants? Uh, Mike, happy happy birthday to Ann, Mike's uh, better half. And it was good to see Mike, Alex, and Ann. I actually saw them on Friday on the way up to the racetrack. Stopped by in uh, Fullerton to have uh, Shabu Shabu with them at a place called Slice in downtown Fullerton in Southern California. On my way to the tracks, so it was good to hang out with them and happy birthday, Ann. And uh, Ann and Mike are on the Max Boost team for the social media stuff. So if you've seen a lot of the posts on our Instagram, uh, that's them. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Where am I? Oh, where am I at? Oh my God, there's a lot of comments. Uh. Mike, yeah, Chad Richardson, what's up, Chad? Had a good weekend this weekend. Right hand drive, Clayton. What's going on? Came over Vita Kakata. What's up? Thanks for coming over, man. Welcome. So you got something to do on Mondays and Tuesdays, right? And it looks like you drive a uh, sedan. <clears throat> are those still called EFs? I don't. I don't know if those are still called EFs. That that year, as what, like a '91 or so. I used to love those. Well, I mean, I still love those. But when I was younger and those were new, those looked awesome to me. I love the shape of those. Um, Yannick's been testing the little Citro Citroen C1s at Zolder this weekend in preparation for 24 hours of spa. <laughs> Are you going to do a 24-hour race, dude? I've done a 25-hour race with 20, uh, 25, 25 hours of Thunder Hill. And that thing, those things are no joke, man. Woo, those are tiring, but they're fun. What's going on with Patreon? Okay, we'll answer that question later. Um, but um, yeah, I got all the product here. We got stuff we're shipping out. We have new product coming in. You guys, uh, you may have seen that, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Remind me. Um, we had an issue, but uh, welcome, welcome. Twitchy Coom. Francis in the house. Thanks for coming in. Haha, <laughs> Lance. Olivares. What's up, man? Um, you need to order the books. I don't know. Are they still available on the website? Because I think they might have sold out. These are collector's items, if you may or may not know. Uh, we told everybody that we'd make only a few of them. Uh, they're all, and all of them are signed and numbered. Um, so you got to grab them when, before they're gone. So hopefully you're still able to get them at maxboost.com. <clears throat> uh, let's organize a meeting. Oh, now that it's past covid meetings coming up yeah people are starting to get together aren't they yeah we got traffic again here in san diego people are driving going to work <clears throat> it's, 
going to be close, but we are looking good for GTA at the Ridge Motorsports Park <laughs> in July. So I'm supposed to be going to, to, to Ridge Motorsports Park in Washington to drive um, Michael Bush's uh, S2000 and, poss and possibly his FK8 as well. Apparently, they're having a hard time figuring out how to get tires, though, because there's a spec tire for that class. Uh, Yokohama's are the spec tire, and you're not supposed to use any other tire. We obviously want to use with these in our Balkans if we could. Um, but you got to run on a, a yokes, and um, apparently they're out of stock. And so if you can't find tires, you can't compete. <clears throat> October 24-hour race, man. Good luck. If I come out there, I have to drive the car before you do the 24-hour because I, when you're done with the 24-hour, the car is going to be destroyed. <laughs> What's up? What's up, fam? Oh, why are you in the hospital? You know you can't say that. What? Walking pneumonia for the past five months. Not COVID, right? Which is good. Yeah, man. Everything okay, bro? Glad to see you here. It seems like you're all right. <laughs> yeah, right hand drive Clayton said it was an EF sedan. It's a 91. Exactly. So I was right. 91 EF sedan. Those are, I love the body style of those. My um, one of my uncles had one. Uh, two, actually, two different, two different family members had them. They were both gray. Love them. I love the design of them. Wow, you've been waiting for your yokes for three months. Uh, yeah, I can't even. <laughs> Obviously, we're sponsored by Falcon. Thank you, Falcon. Love the Falcon 660 tire and the 615s we use on the track all the time. Uh, we can't even get them. I had to buy a set <laughs> retail price. <laughs> oh, man. Um, let's see. <laughs> Twitch is like, you are going to book a suite nearby. Let's have a suite party. <clears throat> All that makes me think of is, what's that movie? Uh, Hangover. As long as there's no, like, you wake up with tigers in the bathroom. Everybody's got a thing for old Hondas, Clayton. <laughs> we all do. It's a bad thing. <laughs> They're so... Uh, we're talking about how hard it is to get parts for 90s cars now, man. And how expensive they're getting. It's crazy. Plastic's getting nuts. All right. So appreciate you guys going through the comments. Thank you guys all for being here. And uh, we're here every Monday. I'm here every Monday, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. I don't care if there's five of you, two of you, or a thousand of you out there. I, I love hanging out, talking about Max Boost, talking about stuff that's going on. It's kind of a chill time. I am currently in the middle of launching a Kickstarter, so I'm super busy um, trying to get this all together. And um, we've been working hard on that. And uh, I can't wait to show it to you. So by next week, you guys are going to see something for sure. And then also, um, yeah, uh, more stuff. There's a ton of stuff going on. It's crazy. Uh, just to give you guys a hint, since nobody watches this, I'm not exposing anything <laughs> except for you guys. Um, right now, we're working on... Um, Let's just say some uh, uh, quite a bit of 3D development on things. Uh, yes, 3D, three-dimensional graphic-related development. You got to guess on what it is. Um, but we are, we're doing that. We've got a lot of products that we're uh, running through. Uh, we've got some Honda stuff uh, in the fan club. Um, I'm actually going to show uh, something of uh, further development of something that we worked on uh, that we are only sharing there. So it's a secret project. It's only in the Max Boost fan club. If you want to be part of the fan club, you can. It's at fanclub.maxboost.com. And um, the reason why you'd want to join that is to support what we're doing. That money is used to help grow Max Boost. And um, if you want to, and you also get some exclusive, um, some exclusive uh, news in the fan club when we get a chance. Now, with the fan club, uh, trying to give an update to Dave McMurtry, he's asking because he's a member of the fan club. Thank you. Uh, we got VIP members here. Um, you also get access to the comic book in the fan club uh, digitally. It's the only place to get it. And right now we're working on it, um, working on making it better. So one of the big things that we made a different, uh, that we just made a change on that should be, hopefully you guys will see pretty soon. Um, Michael Bush is going to be running the fan club. So he actually has a lot of history in running communities. He actually uh, one of the biggest, I think Mitsubishi um, communities in the Pacific Northwest, I believe. Um, and apparently he still runs it. So he knows how to do this. Um, and so we're, uh, you stepped up wanting to make it better and do things in the fan club so that we can uh, continue to provide some value there and making sure that we can stay on top of it and do some good stuff. What I do know is the products complete. Um, I know some of you, I know some of you have not received your packages yet. 
just please be patient. We did have an issue. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like I'm just giving you guys an excuse, but I promise we have the stuff right here and we did run into an issue. Maybe I'll just show it to you so you understand. Um, uh, whatever I can grab. You guys have no idea what the brand is right now. Uh, oh, but this is the image I think we shared with you guys. We've got some of these pins. So you'll be receiving these Mitsubishi pins. Uh, by the way, anybody that got these pins, and these are limited edition pins, we only make so many of these. And these are on acrylic right now. One day we're gonna get to enamel, I promise. We just have to catch up with things. But there is a film on top of these you're supposed to peel off. So if you're wondering why they're kind of blurry, it's because there's a film on it. I actually didn't even know that. So there's a film on it and when you peel it off, it looks a thousand times better. So make sure when you get your pin, you remove that plastic uh, cover. So there, that's was one of the one of the ones that uh, the people in the VIP club are the, uh, that have uh, are supposed to be getting pins. This is one of them. They exist. I already we already have them. Um, here's the new card for the. I like these little cards, dude. So uh, I, I have to hold it here because if I put it close, it blurs out. But anyways, I love these cards. Zig and zag. You'll have uh, matching. Obviously, Zags right or right here. What happened? That one. This poster. You guys have that, and then obviously I have this on a poster. And I thought Dwayne Avery would like that I did this one because he's been wanting this. This is from the throttle design that we did for their uh, Evil Eight giveaway, and uh, so I modified it for that. We got some prints there. So those are so you, those are some of the things you can get. You can get pins. You get based on how much you want to help. Uh, what membership you choose you can get a postcard from me with a message on the back of it that you can't see right now <laughs> there's literally writing on the back of this you can't see it because the camera um and then you can also get prints um this one's really nice so i really like this one it looks blurry on the camera um can't help that right now but i love it looks good it was just for those who don't know anything about the fan club. There was the print from the previous, the first month or second month actually, and these kind of go hand in hand for the brothers right here, zig and zag. So yeah, so you'll get these prints. Um, and the reason why we love the, I appreciate the fan club is because it's just consistent. Uh, it's a subscription based thing, so you know whatever you can afford, uh, and you get some of these based on whatever you think is best for you. And then yeah, it just helps us build something consistent. It's very, very difficult to build fan base in <laughs> subscription model stuff, um, but we're trying it and doing okay. Uh, we're late on, you know, we, we've just been trying to ship stuff, um, but the products I think are cool. And it really, it's just about supporting like me and the team. And uh, when we have enough subscribers, it feels like we have some consistent cash flow here at Max Boost to help us do things to help Max Boost grow. So if you believe in the Max Boost, stuff that's where we, we would love for you to become part of the vip fan club and michael bush stepping up he's going to make it better so it's this guy right here just letting you know mr michael bush himself and let's see uh i got any other uh hawaiian sea thinks so he has got a 3d image of dennis and speedos close close almost <laughs> uh thanks for saying take your time uh don't peel or value will lower <laughs> that's like taking the comic out of the bag or something that's hilarious uh adam s says i would just wish you'd been a higher contributor the monthly to the super right that's why you gotta get up there um what did you want man maybe maybe we could find a way to sneak something in i don't know sometimes doing these special Special arrangements gets Marat crazy because shipping stuff and handling customers and doing all these things is a lot more complicated than people think. And so when I do something that has not that is not in the system, he's like, "Oh, another special favor." It's like it takes like half an hour to an hour to do like a special favor for some of the some of you guys. But I'm willing to do that for you guys a lot of the time. All right, so where am I sitting? Because it's blurry up here. It's like focused over here. I don't know why the focus is back here. So oh, why don't I just move the whole thing back here? So, um, cool. All right, you guys want to see a steering wheel? 
I wonder how I should have shown this to you first because I'm thinking I should be showing you pictures and all of that. Let me get rid of that there. Um, let me take a look. What would be the best way? All right, let me try to do this. I'm gonna try to do, oh, I gotta give a special shout out to Lin Lee, this guy right here. Uh, he's doing the timestamps for all our videos moving forward. So when you go to YouTube and you wanna find out what's in the live, a two hour live, you'll be able to go through his timestamps to know exactly what happened throughout the episode. So you can go like see if you wanna do it, wanna watch or not, but, um, or find a special, special parts like me eating durian or something. Speaking of which, let's relive that moment. I think I should play it. Give me a second. You guys want to see that again? <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if this plays. I hope we don't have a problem with the computer. If we do, uh, we know how to handle it. But here we go. Oh, it's the wafers. It's the wafers. All right, so these are wafers. They're gonna expire pretty quick, I think, right? So I need to make sure that I share them with somebody. But let's let's see what durian, I don't even know what durian tastes like. I've seen the fruit. It looks kind of, um, what do you call it? Um, what's the word? Uh, meaty? Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that stinks. What is that? That smells so bad! Oh! <laughs> I'm not eating this! Dude! Wow, that stinks! You're gonna make me eat this! This stinks! This is durian wafers. Dude! I'm not eating that! I am not eating this, dude! Worse than CV boot grease when, you're, when you blew your CV. It's kind of like that sharp smell. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating right now. And now every single one of you wants me to eat it. <laughs> That's not poison. You wouldn't tell me if it was if you're trying to kill me. The smell and taste are worlds apart. Dude, there's milk stuck in... <laughs> Six sticks. <laughs> mm, that stinks, that stinks. That stinks. How's this gonna taste good, man? <laughs> How did they do that? <laughs> How did they do that? It tastes nothing like it smells. How did you do that? It tastes nothing like it smells. What a liar. It is nothing like it smells. Like, not at all. How did they do that? Even if I ate a scratch and sniff sticker, it would still taste like the scent. It tastes nothing Nothing at all like it smells. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's a reliving of last week. So if you're new to Maximus Monday, once in a while, we'll have our fans send us some food. Send me food. Because I, I, I'm really picky. Like, I don't eat gross stuff. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, they have, a, they get a kick out of it. And I've got a whole box of more stuff. So we're going to eat something else today. And um, that Loon Lee sent me. So Loon Lee sent me like two boxes full of stuff that is weird. And I'm supposed to eat it like every week. Okay, so you're going to watch me do that. But um, yes, L -O LOL replay. <laughs> is it expired? No, it's not. It's meant to be that stinky. It's amazing. It's amazing. Dude, I swear. You know what, I, you know what I'm talking about, right? That smells like sharp and nasty. <laughs> it was 30 minutes of screen to be fair it only took me 15 minutes it felt like 30 minutes because i actually checked back and it only took me 15 minutes to eat them no I, I i did not eat them already 
Um, speaking of which, I should probably show you guys exactly what I did do um, with those. But um, let's move on. We'll come back to this. What are zombie Skittles, dude? Is it like they're all good except for one kind of thing? No, nah, I didn't get addicted to durian. You're crazy. All right, so let's uh, let's do the Greddy thing. Let's see, Greddy, Greddy, Greddy. Um, I need to put a, I need to put it up here. Greddy times max boost. Whoops. Let's get a header here. Um, why did it give away? You guys want to see it? I'm pretty. I I didn't. All right, let's get this. Let's get this thing down here, so people see. All right, so I'm gonna start the segment because it's probably gonna be a segment we're gonna share, so it's gonna be a little. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna act like I started over. Okay. All right. All right. What's up? I'm Dennis Cockle. I'm the artist and creator of Max Boost. This is the comic that was in Import Trader Magazine from 1998 to 2006, and we're back, and we're back in a big way because guess what? Greddy wanted to do something with us, and we're happy that they want to do a collab giveaway with us and you get a chance to win this and this is the first time we're ever going to show it right here live on our youtube channel on max boost mondays at 5 30 pacific standard time so anyways they asked me, they sent me a steering wheel Greddy sent me a steering wheel to give to you or a lucky winner one lucky winner to make a one of one custom steering wheel where i as an artist yes i actually do some drawing um draw on the steering wheel they told me do whatever you want and I said, okay, that means I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just like uh, old school import tuners, you guys remember these? That's me. Um, I helped actually design uh, this magazine uh, from day one, way back in 1998, and the comic book's in it. And so, um, what did I do? So, I had no idea how to do this, and I'm looking for my other steer the, the steering wheel that I have. This place, I should have thought of it. I only have the real one right here. Oh, it's hiding right behind me. Okay, so check this out. So they gave me a steering wheel, they act and they sent me a stunt double steering wheel. This is the stunt double steering wheel. So there's the real one that's sitting right next to me, the one that you can win. And then they gave me this other Grady steering wheel, which is awesome, uh, that I used as a stunt double. And what do you mean by stunt double? I don't know. Sometimes when you do a drawing, you do use scratch paper to draw a draft of a design you want to do. I use that for this. And you'll see, we're going to shoot, we, we actually shot a video that I'm going to edit so you can see the process of how I did this and you'll understand why I needed this. So anyways, I had no idea how to put, <laughs> how to put um, any, uh, to put this together because, or what to draw on here. And I'm going to move this, I'll make it a little smaller. Um, because the spokes are actually pretty small so, and there's a there's a there's a hole right in between each spoke steering wheel is beautiful i love the stitching this is part this this particular one is a suede one without the stripes at the top but the ones that you can win has a gritty stripes at the top that's the one i like too but don't worry i just this is the stunt double okay but like these this the stitching in between all of the is really cool the contrast stitch so anyway so what i did was i actually put tape put tape all around uh, the um, the front of this and I just drew in Sharpie to kind of get a feel for how much space is on the steering wheel itself to draw on. And I wanted to do an original, this is basically gonna eventually become an original piece of one of one art, which is the steering wheel sitting next to me. You're gonna be the first to see it today. And so um, there's that. I wanted to make sure that the concept that I had fit in this space and then on the back i'll show you also some photos i actually already drew on it i had it there's a little secret here i was going to only do like silver ink and i ended up going full color which i think is really cool so i had to test the paint which is a paint uh marker on the the stunt steering wheel and uh tested different colors on here to try to see if i could get the correct ready colors uh with the with the paint markers that we used so um Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, so there you go. Um, and so let's, you guys want to see, I'm going to show you a few pictures of uh, the development of the steering wheel, all right? So let's go take a look at what happened over the last few days as we work on this. I worked on the steering wheel. So it started out like this. All right, so this is the stunt double. And I showed you, I put tape on it. 
taped it up to draw all over it. And then this is where it is right now, like I just showed you right now. And I kind of was like looking at it. I thought maybe I had to have the signature on it. It was pretty tight space to put Max and Otto on it. The My two main characters for my comic book, Max Boost. So I had Otto on the left side, Max on the right side, and I kind of and I flipped them for the final. And then I want to put a couple of cars on here. So I put, you know, I was thinking the EK and the, and maybe an Integra on here because obviously we're Honda fans. Um, maybe like a word, like hit the boost or something like that at the top and then put the Max Boost logo right above the Grady logo. Something like that. This was the concept uh, that I started off with and I didn't completely ruin the steering wheel because I came up with a great idea of putting masking tape on it first before I just drew all over it. So I saved the steering wheel. But once, so going to the real steering wheel, which is actually leather, not suede, like that stunt steering wheel you just saw right now. Um, it is, uh, I started the pencil, draw pencil uh, sketch on the actual metal itself. So the anodized aluminum, I believe it's aluminum. Um, I started to draw with pencil and then hoping that that graphite doesn't keep the ink or the paint from the marker from sticking to the, sticking to the uh, metal. So, I started with silver, and this is me using the stunt steering wheel uh, as a scratch pad. <laughs> and this, I had multiple um, pens. Like, there's a ton of pens that I was trying. And a lot of these pens are the same pens uh, that I use uh, to sign uh, autographs when I sign the books. And I'm using different ones. And the one that ended up, the only one that actually ended up working properly was this pen touch one. So ended up using that and that's the reason why we tested on this back of this um steering wheel because it really did need to make sure it worked and uh let me see if i can cut rid of this trim there you go okay so <clears throat> uh what happens if i do this um, well maybe i shouldn't do that experimenting on this thing gets kind of sketchy so all right so then moving on you can kind of see the process of me drawing in pencil on it this is really close up. The, there's, the spokes are pretty small. So there's Max right there and the EK on the left. So I decided to put Max on the left side and Auto on the right side. And um, <clears throat> there you go. Now I started to ink it. And what I have here is I actually changed the words from hit the boost to drive fast, race hard. For a lot of you may or may not remember um, if uh, my clothing brand called um, Auto Cannon, which was out back in 1998 to 2006. We did Shift Gear, um, Racer Red, did all these different apparel brands, and uh, Drive Fast, Race Hard was our slogan. So I thought, hey, I'll bring it back on this, on the steering wheel. And so here, here's uh, Max and Otto, beginning of the drawings with the EK and the Integra um, on the right side, uh, EK on the left side, just in silver. And so originally I was going to just do this just in silver because... I didn't, I was running out of time and I want to make sure I, but I also want to do a good job. And I thought silver would be clean and easy, um, to like look at, but part of me was like, God, I kind of want to do the colors. I want to do color, like the gritty colors. Um, and so I went to the art store and grabbed, uh, these color markers. Uh, these are paint markers. A lot of graffiti guys use stuff like this. Um, and so had to find and match the colors. Uh, lots of stuff's out of stock, COVID, I guess. Uh, and I, I think I matched the colors pretty pretty good. I got re really lucky. And then from there, here's an example of where it, it is. It's kind of hard to see the yellow color because this is actually not black and white. Um, but the photo, I'm going to show you the real steering wheel here pretty soon. But this gives you a little example of what this steering wheel looks like. And um, that's not finished yet. And I hope you guys can see this steering wheel really well when I finally um, share it with you. Um, but, <clears throat> um, but yeah, so check it out. This is not done. Let me see if there's one more. This is it. You can kind of see now there's the colors kicking in. I'm really having fun with it. I did not realize, like, I don't know. It looks really cool. I thought it might look too much but i think it ended up looking really cool this is uh again this is not the final final version but it's pretty close <laughs> and you see the drive fast the race hard i put my signature up at the top you don't have it in this particular photo um and you got the you know the the the, the car on the left car on the right max auto max boost the Greddy logo and then the boost button 
is funny because right in the middle is the horn button, right? So I just thought that would be funny. Um, and 1998, 2006, MB Max Boost, and then the Gretty, the Gretty colors at the bottom. And so uh, that's not it though, because I actually did some stuff on the back. And uh, one of the things I did do was uh, says, congrats, you lucky bastard. I don't even have one of these. This is a one of one. It says it down there at the bottom in yellow. One of one. It's a one of one collectible. You're going to want to win it. And again, go to Gretty's uh, social media to see how you can win this. Um, and it says Max Boost on the right. It says uh, Max Boost. I'm actually going to show you the steering wheel in a second here. But it says on the right, it says Max Boost. Gretty, June 14, 2021 is when I completed it. Original artwork by Dennis Kako. And it is, yes, one of one. Import tuner so hopefully let's see if they're hopefully you guys like this so um what do you guys think let me know in the comments let me know if you want to win this thing and uh here it is so this is the the actual steering wheel i think it looks cool man i i have never made a collectible like this this is probably the most one of the most collectible max boost items ever so if you're a max boost fan or probably even a Grady fan it's probably one of the most collectible Grady fans i don't do this often um so this is a rare rare piece so you're in a rare stuff this is it and when max boost becomes like a netflix show or whatever um i don't know this could be a pretty big deal can imagine someone rocking this steering wheel at the show at the car show or a racetrack or something but i think it'd be pretty awesome um, I also added the Gretty colors around the edges because I thought it'd be really neat to have, see the yellow, kind of that the turquoise teal color, and then um, on this side, the blue. So just kind of give it a nice feel to it, turn it around. Then there's all my writing on the back of it. I still think it's really funny that I said, congrats, you lucky bastard. I don't even have one. I literally don't have one for myself. Um, and one of one, that's the big deal, right? That's what everybody wants is the one of one. And uh, yeah, so you guys want to win this, uh, it's going to be announced uh, tomorrow on my son's birthday, Otto's birthday. I have a, I have two sons, one's <laughs> nicknamed Max and the other one is Otto, legally. <laughs> so Max and Otto, there they are. It's his birthday tomorrow. It's his first year, first year birthday. So we're going to be celebrating with him tomorrow. So try to win this thing. I'm like, don't let, don't let a non-Max Boost fan win this. Like, Max Boost, guys, you guys got to come out, represent, do whatever they tell you to do on the 15th. Uh, tomorrow is when I believe they're going to show it. And you're going to win one of these. But on top of that, I'm going to send uh, send the winner um, some books signed by me. And then you're also going to get this box that the, that the uh, steering wheel comes in. You're going to have this, and this is going to have a little sketch on it, all right? So you're going to have the whole entire suite of stuff along with maybe a couple of Max Boost keychains and uh, lanyards and license plate frames, stuff like that. It'll be a cool little Max Boost um, uh, uh, gift box. So this, you really want this. So, all right, so this is it. This is the Gretty Max Boost collab giveaway. You're going to want this thing. You got to get it. It's going to It's going to be announced on the 15th on Gretty Socials. And uh, good luck trying to win it. One of one, my artwork. And I think that what I should do is actually video a little bit more of the close-up on this thing so that you guys can get more of a sense of how it looks. So I'm going to video this right now so you guys can look at this. And it'll be a little bit like the Matrix when I finally play it. But, um, yeah, let's see if the, uh, this all shows up real well. And then, sorry for seeing my back, and then here's the back of it, all right? So you guys, hope you love it. Max Boost style. All right, so I'm gonna transfer that video that I just took right now onto the laptop, and I'm gonna play it for you in a second. So it'll be a little bit matrixy. So like, didn't you just hear this like two seconds ago? Yes, you did. All right, so let's play that little video so you get a little bit more of a close-up of the gritty, um, the Gretty uh, steering wheel. Let's see if it dropped in. Here you go. I'm gonna video this right now, so you guys can look at this, and it'll be a little bit like the Matrix when I finally play it. But um, yeah, let's see if the uh, this all shows up real well. And then, sorry for seeing my back. And then here's the back of it. All right. 
So you guys, hope you love it. Max Boost style. All right, so there you go. Who's gonna win it? I'm really happy. Thank you so much to Grady for letting me be a part of this project. And uh, all the Max Boost fans want to say thank you on, on behalf of all of us to being able to do something. And if you look at the front cover of Max Boost, Greddy's represented right there. So they got their logo on the intercoolers um, of uh, this particular uh, little Super Dupra. And um, obviously they're represented as, um, uh, you know, a sponsor on the sponsor page in the back because, you know, we love these guys. They've been around forever. Uh, they supported us with everything. And someone asked me, they said, uh, is Grady going to put stuff on the Midori Civic? You will find out. <laughs> you will find out. So Grady's right there. There's a list of a lot of the companies that have supported us uh, in our comeback with Max Boost. So thank you. Thank you guys, Phil, uh, Kenji, all you guys out there. Grady, we appreciate you. And yes, so you heard it here first. We're going to be doing something with the Max Boost Civic uh, with Grady. They said they said they offered. So I'm like, all right, let's go. And yes, of course, they did. They did let me keep the stunt double <laughs> steering wheel. <laughs> So this is mine, dude. I'm going to keep the tape on it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, good stuff, man. Appreciate you guys. Isn't that fun? Look at how far we've come. We've been uh, doing a lot of, we're going to do collabs. We have more collabs we're going to be doing. Just letting you guys know, moving on up with the Max Boost family. We've got hybrid racing we're going to be doing stuff with. We're going to do hot sport. We're going to be doing a collab with. I really love this project this much, man. That I think that um, I should do this with all our sponsors. Like we should get something from each one of our sponsors, and I just kind of draw on it and give it away every couple months or something like that when I when I when I have the time to do it. Um, maybe a Hotsport engine mount. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, maybe we do an exhaust from Grady. Can you imagine a big exhaust? Like if we did one next time, what kind of piece of art I could do on that? Um, yeah. So wheel, Titan Seven wheel. That'd be crazy. All right, so it looks like you guys left a lot of comments. Love it. Thank you so much. Uh, that is dope. Appreciate that. Clear coat it to protect it. Ah, probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. Um, love the steering wheel. Listen to the show while working. That's awesome. I <laughs> love the steering wheel. Uh, oh, wait, it says, uh, love this. Randy says, he loves the steering wheel. Listening. Uh, oh, wait, what? Love the steering wheel. Listen, around. that looks great, but I could never K twenty four seven. What's up, man? Welcome back. Um, looks great, but I could never put it in a car. It would be hung up on the wall above my desk. I hope. Yeah, I I think so, dude. I think so. Yeah. So you guys love it. Uh, that's amazing. Thank you, man. <laughs> Twenty man Kumite fight for this wheel. That'd be hilarious. Looks sweet. Thank you, sir. Relentless racing. What's up, AJ? I want it. How do I win? You win by going to Grady's socials. It's going to be announced tomorrow, uh, uh, June 15th. So you guys are actually here to see this first. They haven't even seen the steering wheel. I don't think anyone at Grady's even seen it. Uh, they, well, they I know they haven't seen it. I don't even know if they're watching right now, but they have no idea what this looks like. Um, <laughs> Mike's, of course, Mike Servin, the collector of all collectors, dude. This is something you need. You better win this thing. This is a one of one. This is what Mike wants more than anything is anything that says that one of one. So Mike, yeah, I have no idea, dude. I have no inside scoop. I just, I'm just, I'm just the messenger and the artist, the slave that slaved away on this. So, um, yeah, Tim says, I probably want to clear code or something to protect the art for sure. Um, yeah, they, uh, they actually gave me a steering wheel, right? Philip, Mr. Chase, we've got this one. Um, but yeah, we got steering wheels. So sick. Thank you, Team Scoundrels. What's up? <laughs> Happy birthday to Otto, right? There you go. I should make Otto's birthday like in the comic, the same birthday as my son, who's named Otto. That, that'd be kind of cool. At least a date. Let's see. Um, yeah, let me see how. <laughs> Adam says, I want it already. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I will settle for photos. <laughs> no, you got to try to win. Oh, wait. Let's see. 
Oh, uh, one year old. Yeah, Otto's one year old already. So um, anyways, yeah, so here you go. So that's how you win it. That was a fun project. I want to do more of these kinds of things, but I got I to gotta take care of everyone else. I got sketches to deliver and we've got fan club stuff. Um, I promise you we got the stuff made. It's sitting here. We got to ship a lot of stuff. We got new the new artwork that's coming. Just to let you know what it is, I already, I'll just kind of give you guys the little rundown. So the new artwork in the, um, in the, uh, in the uh, fan club is going to be domestic. <laughs> so what do you think it is? Go figure, right? Ah, uh, man. <clears throat> yes. Uh, so anyways, that was fun. I hope, uh, thank you to Grady for thinking of us. And yeah, we got some stuff that uh, they want to be involved in uh, moving forward. And um, yeah, those guys that are on that team at Grady have been around this industry for a long time. So they're like, oh, geez. And um, Philip, actually, just to give you guys a little background, Philip, uh, the way where I met Philip was actually at Tame. So Philip was actually the original guy who got me uh, sponsored at Tame uh, for the Team SGR Max Boost original civic that was never green uh, it was silver uh the race car that i got uh second place in the honda challenge championship and also got rookie of the year with with nasa that we built from scratch and it was a uh, type r uh motor um a hatch and then he went from tain to Grady. and so yeah it was uh, it was a good sponsorship i, I told him i said he, he didn't realize it like when he sponsored us for racing um when we raced that series, that season, nobody else was running on Tanes in the Honda Challenge Series. And this was back in the day when tra track driving was very, not very many people did it. Not from our industry. So a lot of American cars. So um, Americans and BMWs. So um, anyways, w the cool thing was uh, we did pretty well. And then Sam uh, from my team, uh, from our team, from Team SGR, Team Auto Canyon, same thing. He came out and we started decimating this. <laughs> he, started, he did really well, won some championships. And in a matter of like two to three years, like everybody was running, like almost like uh, the whole entire field was running Tanes. So I want to say, so Philip, if you're listening, that was one of the best sponsorships you ever did that you probably didn't realize made a difference. Um, so cool. All right, there you go. Yay! Thank you, Grady. Um, round of applause for Grady. Yay! I'm trying to click the applause button and I can't click it. Thank you, guys. That was fun. Hopefully, everyone thought that was cool. And I don't know what this sound effect does. Forgot about this one. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, there you go, man. Um, let's see. So... That was fun. I don't know what to do next. Oh, I think we're supposed to uh, do. I should have a header down here at the bottom. What should we call it? Um, because it seems like you guys liked it last time. <laughs> Food experiment segment. Give me a second. Let me um, let me go get some <laughs> snacks from Loon Lee's <laughs> Loon Lee's stash. All right. You guys want to watch me eat this time? No, there's no durian flavored anything. I ain't doing that ever. Again. I don't. Uh, this is probably a green tea matcha kit kit cat thing. That sounds really safe. Vote for that one. Um, this one's slightly different, but it's still a kit cat. Sounds safe. Vote for that one. Unless it's durian kit cat, then I'm gonna be pissed. And it's in Chinese, so I can't even read it. Oh wait, wait. Is it? No. That's key, man. I think the durian wafer smells lingering on all the other snacks. Uh, we got extreme Carolina Reaper. We've got that. 
guys are. I already know you're gonna pick that. Cheeto. Cheeto? Oh, JDM Cheeto. Is it good or tiny? Korean. Oh, shoot. I already opened one up. I forgot. You need that. Um, crackers. So pick one of these that you guys want me to eat. But I forgot to tell you. Oh, I got these ones. These look really safe. Can I do this? Can we do this? It even says thank you on it. How much safer can it be? It says thank you. Um, I couldn't wait. I was starving. Remember these turtle chips? Literally? Bro, I destroyed them. <laughs> I just ate through the bag, dude. These are good. I don't know. I love corn. Corn. Good. These are sweet. Not good. Tasty. It makes you feel like him. Like, yeah. That's how I ate it. That's how you eat it, you. You know what that is? How you eat it? Kind of throw it in your mouth. These are really good. Thanks, man. And no, they weren't durian. Uh, Dwayne, what's up, man? It's another Monday. Glad you're in here. All right, which one do you guys say? Hot chip reaper left. Bro. Lucky I like you. Um, what do you guys want me to eat, man? The new Civics. Apparently coming in pretty soon here. 11th gen. I should post that up while I eat. Because that's good news. Let's see. Let's go look at the 11th gen. Where did I miss? There you go. Let's look at this post. Give me a second. Um, I don't know how to show just this in, on my screen. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna do that. It's the easiest thing to do. All right. So um, let's throw up the 11th gen Civic. All right, so 11th Gen Civic. What you guys think about it? As I just opened up the Extreme Carolina Reaper um, bag. Okay, Extreme Carolina, Carolina Reaper cheese puffs, supposedly one of the hottest peppers in the world. I think I should learn to smell it first. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything. That's a good start. That's a good start. So, we're gonna try to eat this. But, um, what do you guys think of the 11th gen? What do you guys think? Oh, you got, you saw it. Did you see it in real life, Tim? How, well, how was it? How was it, man? Let me know. Uh... <laughs> Lee got to send snack packs to everybody. All right, so this is California Reaper, Reaper, or California, Carolina, Carolina Reaper. I'm gonna try to eat this, and then uh, from here, I think the next thing we'll do is we'll do a Max Boost issue. I'll, I'll read the next issue of Max Boost from a Max Boost comic available at maxboost.com. All right, um, okay. So it doesn't smell bad, so it's not gonna take me 15 minutes to try it. But it makes me wonder how bad it really is. This is me looking for a drink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Loon Lee, thank you for sending me these extreme Carolina Reapers. Uh, I said thank you, but I'm probably gonna take that back after I eat them. Um, it, they don't smell spicy. They don't smell. <laughs> Actually, they smell real spicy now. Um, they don't smell that spicy. We'll see how hot these really are. Did you have some of these, Lindley? 
So if you hit, if you, um, if you did, let me know. Otherwise, if you didn't, that's not fair. Anything you make me eat, you have to have eaten. By the way, just letting you know. All right, let's try to eat this. Ready? Good. Gold Emblem Extreme Carolina Reaper flavored cheese puffs are the answer to your cheese. <laughs> are the answer to your cheesy spicy prayers. So how many of you have cheesy spicy prayers? Apparently they've just been answered. This is all you need. Um cheddar drenched puffs ignite with legendary hot. Carolina Reaper, seasoning for a spicy burn that hurts so good. Think you can handle the heat? Let the roast begin. I should have read this first before I ate it. With Gold Emblem, you can turn any day into a celebration. We make sharing easy with food that's high quality and big on flavor. So pick a cake, pour a drink, or pass the snacks. Life is waiting. Dig in. Wow. So Gold Emblem makes drinks, snacks, and cakes. <laughs> they, they, they're the ones you want to invite to the party. It makes me wonder, like, anytime, anytime someone owns like a food company, like a Nestle or I don't know, something like that, are you like obligated every party to bring that food? Like, people should expect that, right? I mean, isn't it weird if you brought competitors' food? You never bring competitors' food, right? Do you even eat competitors' food? Do the Coke guys know what paste Pepsi tastes like? Just wondering. Chad Ban, Chad Ban, what happened? Wait, what? What? What just happened? <laughs> Trying to get attention for my sister before the 11th gen hatchback comes in. I'm not a fan of the dash. Okay, cool. Um, that's one of the things I was thinking about, Tim, was the, the, the vents. The interior vents in the honeycomb vent. I think I like the the, the, the simplicity of the um, of the interior. I think I know what they were trying to do there. I think it'll be nice, I think it'll be elegant, and I think it'll look like the car is in a higher class than it than it is. Although everything else in every other class is gonna go up too. But man, I, I have a feeling this thing's really nice. I like the subtlety in the design. It's I don't wanna say I, I it's simple, but I love the tension. That's why it was the number one selling Civic ever, by the way. Um, and so let me uh, I guess I should show you this. Yeah, that is a really weird What is going on in the bottom right over there? That gift. But bail side not That's some kind of crazy <laughs> oh, you guys can't see it because my face is in the way. Let me get my face out of here. Um, <laughs> so back to the three things at once. Um, Better than a kick in the face with a gold shoe. Golf shoe. How good is my key tolerance? Lumi asked me, so, dude, I used to eat spicy all the time. Like, every day I want hot, spicy hot pot, spicy something, spice, 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 spice. I got on a spice kick for like two to three years, like pretty hardcore. I, was, I did pretty good being able to eat spicy stuff. I liked it, I liked the flavor. I don't like the lingering spice that messes up your taste buds and you can't taste anything anymore. I don't need it hot. I like spice for flavor, not spice for heat where you can't feel anything anymore. I don't know. That doesn't, that doesn't work. So, um, anyways, so what's weird is I decided to stop eating spicy stuff No, for no reason. There's, there's no reason I stopped. I just stopped wanting it. And then all of a sudden, um, I stopped 
And after I stopped, I tried to eat it again. Body don't like it. I can eat it. It just... Now it just wants to come out. <laughs> it doesn't want to hang out. And there's my alarm. Um, hopefully someone turns it off. But... Chad, Ben, Chad, Ben. Did, ben, did he get shit Ben? No. Oh, I don't even know what you were talking about. So you said there's a post somewhere? Okay, I'm totally ADHD right now. All right, so that was good. That tasted good. It's not It's not super hot, but it's hotter. I don't know how hot, hot Cheeto, the extra, extra extreme hot Cheetos are. Feel good. All right, thank you. But I really like these. These little turtles. The little Midori, Midori turtle. So Max Boost, Max Boost has a pet turtle. And that turtle's name is Midori. That's a really cool name for a turtle. All right, I wonder what we're gonna end up eating next. Cool. All right, let's read an issue of Max Boost. In the last episode, let's see, where were we last? Ah, we got kidnapped in the back. All right, so Max and Otto gets they get kidnapped. Um, and this is the last episode that we uh, that we read last week. And um, Papa Wheelie's got him under in custody at this point. All right, so let's keep going. Issue number forty-five, punishment. And look at the oh, look at this. So, in this issue, this is probably what 2000. I want to say roughly 2002, 2003. This was the name. This was something that we I was offered to get started on a business with um, partners of mine at the company that I was originally a student of, at Driving Concepts International. They wanted to start a performance driving school specifically for tuner cars. And tuner guys, because at the time when when I was driving on the racetracks, people were still doing car shows and drag racing. And I'm a track guy. I love driving, going left and right. So they asked me. They said, "Would you want to try to start something together and start a racing school that specifically catered to tuner audience, the tuner culture?" And I said, "Absolutely," because I want one of my passions, and you guys probably know this. And if you don't, you need to know, is getting people on the racetrack. And uh, I mean, I've been an instructor for I don't know, 15, 20 years now, and uh, do compete in time trials right now. And I, uh, I do wheel the wheel. I instruct wheel to wheel performance uh, for uh, driving school for NASA for racing certification. And so this was way back in the day. I had a school called uh, uh, Autopilot. It never got off the ground. We never did it, by the way. But it's called Autopilot at AutopilotRacing.com. I don't know. If it's now. Um, Take your car and a professional instructor on the real racetrack and learn the skills you need to run with big guts. And so, autopilot was going to be the HPVE portion of my school, and then the the wheel to wheel portion of our school was going to be called um, uh, uh, what is it? Autopilot and what am I forgetting right now? Oh, autopilot for HPDE non competitive driving, and the competitive driving part of our school was going to call it, be called Fighter Pilot. So <clears throat> that was that. That's the history of that. All right. So deep in Papa Wheelie's performance shop, please don't hurt us, Mr. Wheelie. I want to let you know that I'm allergic to needles, knives, gunshots, poison, whips, chains, cuts, and bruises, basically anything related to pain. <laughs> but my friend Otto here, he, he's pretty tough, so you should, you should start with him. It auto sense that's not funny. Silence! See, Mr. Max Boost, you have put me in a precarious position. You owe me money for the motor swap I performed on your car, and killing you won't repay me. The other thing is, we have conserved that as a driver, you are a recklessly competitive, win at all costs, road rage maniac, and, I, and have no regard for human life whatsoever. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. The perfect combination for a great race car driver. 
<laughs> I think you may have what it takes to race for Papa Weary's performance. And that is how you can repay your debt to me. But we will have to do some tests. Ha 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 ha. That's not how he laughed. How would he laugh? Ha ha ha. No. But first, we will have to do some tests. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know. How would he laugh? That ha 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 ha. Oh, ha 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 ha. No. But first, we will have to do some tests. <laughs> Something like that. I can't believe I'm doing this live. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> But, but we will have to do some tests. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right, enough. Tests that will challenge your ability to survive. Tests that will bring you to your knees. Tests that will turn your stomach inside out. Tests that will make you look death in the eye. But if you live, you will be rewarded. Did I mention I'm allergic to needles, knives, gunshots? Poisons whips chain. <laughs> nice. So, oh, what is he do? Did he leave him alone? Oh, no, he goes. So, what do you think we should do, Otto? Uh, we have a choice between enduring pain and suffering, or a quick death from Papa Willie's Wu Tang whack. Either way, we're screwed. I think we should escape and get out of here. I agree. Let's escape. And Max, when you pass the test. Drive cars like these, <laughs> and he said, Sweet, <laughs> whip me, slay it, slap me, torture me. I'm staying. Oh, hell yeah, where do we sign? <laughs> Dang, and I thought this was supposed to be punishment. Oh, but it is punishment, Mr. Boost. It is punishment. <laughs> <laughs> To be continued, and who is the big guy behind Papa Wheelie? Find out next issue at maxboost.tv, which we no longer own. So, yeah, who's that big guy at the end? Anyways, that was fun. Hope you guys had fun listening to Max Boost. This issue, I think I drew and wrote in, like I said, about 2002, three, probably. So, uh, Alex Samoski, what's up? Welcome, dude. Been a while. It's been a while. Thank you. Super design for autopilot. Appreciate that. Let's see. Yeah, you guys. Um, so there you go. All right. So, so this. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So that's it, man. So you guys want to win something? I think we're going to do a giveaway right now. In this, uh, whoa, wait, is there any background I could get? I gave you guys a little bit of background. I like this issue. It's fun. Um, and in case you're new and you're wondering why I'm laughing at my own jokes, it's because I actually haven't really read Max Boost since I um, published it. I swear I did. But I thought this was kind of clever. I think it's kind of funny. Anything else you probably talk about this? DKs. Super No, well, that's it. Nothing too crazy on this one. But yeah, this is the introduction of uh, Wrench. He is the head mechanic at Papa Willie's Performance Shop. He is a big gorilla. Yes. And then uh, you guys should know this is Grasshopper. Grasshopper the Praying Mantis. He's always on Papa Willie's shoulder. Alright, so we'll read another issue next week. Always tune in tune in with us at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time on Max Boost Mondays. So, Mod Nuts said the art pretty much sucks on all the other issues, but on this issue, it's pretty cool. Thanks, my nuts. Uh, answer is net. Nope. All right. Let's see. 
I don't know what you're gonna win. We'll figure it out. But I'm gonna write. So how you can win? The, we we give away, we do giveaways almost every week. No, you can't. We're not winning the steering. Wheel. Um, that's for great. But what uh, we are gonna do is I'm gonna give away something. I don't know what it is. Be a gift certificate to the Max Boost Store. Or something random in my office. This studio. Something. Um, last week we gave away a cartoon t-shirt. So right now, I'm not gonna let you know what you win until you answer the question. You might win a whip it. You have no idea. So let's go. And I'm gonna come up with a question. Ready? So, oh, when I put the question on here, you have to write the, the, the correct name of that particular thing. So sometimes when I ask, an, ask a question for a car, you have to say Honda Civic. Not Civic, not EK. You have to type the whole thing, Honda Civic. You don't have to say SI or Type R necessarily unless it's a question specific to that. But right now, it's time to win something. Okay, so whoever types it in first and I see the comment first and it's the first correct comment, wins all right let's see all right you guys ready to win let's get some Dwayne Avery music in here I, I'm gonna get new music it's funny guys Civic, not Civic, not Honda. You say Honda Civic, gotta type it out. It gotta be correct, all right? So here you go, ready? Boom, what three cars were in the Max Boost issue I just read? The one with Papa Wheelie's holding that paper. What three cars were those? Put them in the, put them in the comments, you gotta say, make model, make model. Surprises and smelly wafers. Another surprise good way. I hope it's not another date. What's wrong with a date, bro? Wanna go on dates? Adam already jumped in the gun on the Red Bull Racing. I know. Anybody watch the Formula One? We got a triple header coming for Formula One. Adam, what what country are you from? What country are you in right now? I'm looking at your responses. They're tripping me out. Hmm, should we give it to you? What do you think, guys? All right, um, it is not a Honda Civic EG. You almost won, Jamal. That was an EK. You didn't have to put EG. Just EK. You just put Honda Civic. You would have won. I think you would have won. Why? Because Adam said Toyota MR2, Honda Civic. I don't know. It's an MRS. Does that count as an MR2? Anybody? To me, <laughs> it doesn't count. So who's got the MR, someone has to say MRS, Honda Civic, and Toyota Supra. That's the answer. So who's next? Is it an MR2? That's what I'm asking. In what country, is in a country, is it called MR2? So an MRS here in the United States, right? See, Tim Lee got it. I say Tim Lee wins because I didn't want to say, I didn't want anyone calling it an MR2. I know it's supposed to be an MR2, but it's like an MRS. It's an MRS. Okay, so Adam, since you're in the United States, it's an MRS, not an MR2. <laughs> oh, 
must tag, must tag, must tag. <laughs> right on. Tim, you won, man. I think uh, you won, dude. All right. Yeah. All right, dude. <clears throat> Tim, didn't you? With something to give you. Either that or it's gonna be like a $50 gift certificate on maxboost.com. Probably my easiest thing to do right now, so we don't have to uh, try to ship anything right now. Actually, that might be the easiest thing. Alright, so Tim, just uh, hit us up at hello at maxboost.com. Tell them that you won the prize on Maxboost today. We'll send you a $50 gift certificate, dude. Thanks for playing. And congrats to Tim. <laughs> MR3, <laughs> Mike said. And, uh, MR2 Spider in the US, MRS in Japan. That's an MRS to me. Oh, is that why? On the JL10? Did I ever send this song to you, Dwayne? Did I ever send it to you? I think I was trying to send it to you, but you didn't want to have it watermarked. So, um, anyways, how do you do this? Choose a photo or video. No. Oh. Can you attach a file? All right. Give me a second, guys. Dot name. Did I ever send this to you, bro? Well, trying to send it. Okay. So, yeah, that was it, man. Had a good time. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me. I hope you guys, again, please make sure you one of you guys wins this thing. Where did it go? Please. Please, one of you guys win this. Someone who's a Max Boost fan, please win this. Because there is a chance a, a non-Max Boost fan might win this. All right? So, fight for it. Do whatever you got to do. Mike Servant, I am entrusting in you on winning this, dude. You need to win it. One of one. All right, guys. Love you guys. So, um, yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week, five thirty Pacific Standard Time, Max Boost Monday time, and tomorrow should be the announcement of the a steering wheel. And. Uh... Oh shoot! Where do I? I can refund you. What did you order? What did you order, Tim? Check uh, what you ordered and if I can, I'll call Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you. You guys had fun.